What's up you guys, Kevin here from K Jorgensen TV and today we are in Nevada, Las Vegas for SEMA 2022. Uh, actually it's Monday. Uh, happy Halloween guys. Uh, you know, there's a lot of preparation going on right now in SEMA. Um, and today we're going to be meeting up with Adam Twigrig on Instagram, also Mark and their friend Brian versus Outdoor Gear. So we're gonna go over there right now and check it out. We recently partnered up with uh, 4122. So we are now selling the uh, hitch lighters on the Overland 4 Low website. So go ahead and visit overland4low.com for a special discounted price on the, on the 4122 hitch lighters. But I just wanna give a special shout out to Nepo for 4122 for making this happen. You know, like this is my first time going to SEMA and super excited to uh, see the shops and the cars over there. Yeah, my goal for this coming days is basically just to network, meet meet a lot of uh, new people. And yeah, so um, yeah, hopefully you enjoy this video and make sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe. So here's for today. We are here at the Traverse Adventure here with uh, Brian, the owner and founder of the company, and also Adam. Adam will be doing a review for the uh, review for us. So yeah, take it away, Adam. All right, guys. So we have the shower tent right here from Traverse Adventure Gear. Um, it's obviously blowing in the wind because we haven't staked it down because we're on asphalt. Lovely, but. Uh, a couple of big things I want to notice. Uh, first off, obviously Shower Tent, there's a couple of other brands out there that do stuff like this. Um, the hinges on this, real robust. That's one of the things I noticed first when we popped it first open. Obviously adjustable height for, you know, different size rigs. Um, and then another big thing is, is obviously there's a zipper right here to get in, right? Starts down at the bottom or up at the top. But one thing for the SUV guys that a lot of the truck guys don't necessarily understand because we have so much less space is he's got a zipper that lets you get into the side of the car. So like if your wife's changing, she needs to grab her clothes out of the car, whatnot, shower, go to the bathroom. It's real easy, if, especially even if you're sleeping inside the vehicle, to come out and get into the shower tent, do what you got to do, and then get back into that sleeping space. Uh, so that's a big thing that I've noticed a lot of other shower tents in the market have nothing to cover that situation. Um, so that's that's a real big plus, to be honest. Uh, he's got a couple colors, right? You said uh, this, this gray and green. So obviously got this nice, uh, not over the top logo. There's a couple other brands out there that have way over the top logos and way over the top colors too. It's it's pretty minimal, but in a good way, right? Um, another big one, it's got an LED strip with like a diffuser bar on it. So that way when it's dark outside, you don't have to aftermarket add your own lights. It's just USB uh, type C, or sorry, type A. Um, pretty long cord on that as well, so you can run it into the cab and you've got no problem. All righty guys, and now we're moving on to the 270 awning. A couple things that I want to point out real quick. It is freestanding. Uh, but it also has these legs if you wanted to pop these on. These are in a separate bag. Uh, adjustable height depending on, you know, leveling your ground. Um, obviously, it's a pretty large coverage. This is a Tacoma, so we're looking at a, a pretty good amount of space. You can get all your grill out here and you still have all your coverage for your tailgate and whatnot. Uh, ties down right to his, is his bed rack as usual. And then obviously, you've got these ties for tying it down in the wind. Semi-reflective, uh, perimeter right here when, when it's dark outside and you've had a few drinks. Uh, you don't always run into it, right, if you set it up high enough. Um, one of the big key things, uh, and Kevin's gonna get some B-roll of this later, is there's some LED strips with a diffuser bar in each one of these arms. And there's actually also a USB cord that comes with it. And you just punch this into a power bank, uh, like I said before, USB type A. Um, and this will light up all of these arms, even more visibility at night. That way you can actually be prepped for night runs and whatnot. Um, real sturdy, real nice canvas. There's a little bit of a pattern on here. Uh, it makes it stand out rather than just like a blank color. You bring up a good point. The canvas cover is a real thick quality, like some of the heavy duty tent tile stuff or tent style stuff. So that being said, like it's it's gonna hold up to when you rub it against trees and bushes and rocks and stuff, because that's what happens when you actually get out and use your rigs. Uh, those are some key points. Oh, and then another thing, Kevin's gonna have to get some B-roll of this. There's actually a center post, like some of the other brands do, to keep water from pooling on the top. That way, when you're either putting it away or, or taking it out, you're not getting a bunch of water drip down your back, which always sucks. Um, and that's right up by the post where the where all the arms pivot out of. Um, really solid setup. Yeah, regarding the rooftop tent, I like there was a lot of things that I liked about it. Uh, what you can see in the video is most of the A-frames have like a hinge. Like I know the GoFast Camper is one that everybody kind of knows. The hinge is down at the top of that A. 
you lose like the last six inches if you're a tall person and you want to you know suck into the tent kind of deal because it just gets so narrow so quick that your foot hits the top and you have to either fold up or lay on your side or whatnot um, but his has a lift at the bottom so you kind of have more usable real estate for like a battery bank for your heated uh, blanket uh, or a dog or dog bed shoes um, that kind of stuff or a diesel heater or a, or a Mr. Buddy heater kind of thing. Um, you have more room available in that regard that's actually usable space. I know on the top of the tent he had the typical uh, utility pouch with like an iPads cover so you could you know watch your movies at night. It was also on tracks or on like T-slot rails actually so you could move it up or down if you had kids that were watching movies down at the bottom or if you sleep the other way you could turn it around. Um, each tent comes with a shower bag. The shower bag on the bottom has a bunch of mesh. That way, if it rains and your bag just happens to be outside, you're up in the snow, up in the mountains or whatnot, it drains it all out instead of your shoes hanging out in a puddle, uh, which is nice. I know there's a couple other brands that actually have a bag, but it's totally encased. So when you go to take your shoes out, they're sitting in a lake, basically. That's not a, that's not a good thing, obviously. Um, and then some key features. Uh, the tent is under 200 pounds. I think he said it was about 170 to 175. Um, and it's all aluminum with two slots on the bottom, which is the part that doesn't move, and then one slot on the top that does move. And then he's also got an optional rail up on the top that Kevin got some gear roll about that you can move it forward and backwards as well as move the bars themselves um, with some possible customizations available in the future once order numbers uh, uh, go up. Um, I'm trying to think of anything else. Oh, his latch system. It actually sucks down really well. It keeps that, that clamshell nice and tight. So that, that's pretty good there with an anti-condensation mat. Um, obviously he's got side entrance windows, back entrance window, side entrance window. Underneath the rain fly, he does have a, a little window that you can open up from the inside. So if it is snowing or if it is raining and you got to get some, some airflow in because it's a little too stuffy or too much condensation, you can crack that open, get some fresh air in, close it back up, whatever the case may be. Um, overall, it was a really nice unit. He's been working on it for about two and a half years with COVID, obviously, and, and finding the right manufacturers. He's trying to make sure he lines up a product that he would actually want to buy. Um, now, the price point is to be determined. He should have his site up uh, soon. Hopefully soon. Yeah, I think he was talking about hopefully uh, November. Yeah, November, late or yeah, late December maybe uh, with the holidays in the mix. Um, but that's definitely something he's working on to get some pictures. He's got he's already got a lot of photos he's working on. Hit him up at Traverse Adventure Gear on uh, the Instagram, and I believe his uh, his Instagram or his personal Instagram for his truck I'll was yeah he'll have the links yeah, in the bottom. Yeah, but I want to say it was like Desert yeah. underscore yeah, yeah. Taco or something like that. Yeah, yeah. Um, real cool guy, real cool guy to meet. Uh, like I said, a Las Vegas company, and uh, he's working on on expanding more. He's like I said, shower tents, uh, awnings. Like I said, he's he's got a 270 now, but he's working on a 180. He's working on also like the six and a half foot wide ones, standard ones. Uh, so he's got some options. All right, guys. So make sure to check out Adverse Adventure Gear on Instagram and upcoming soon on the website. Um, yeah, so we're just going to have some lunch while uh, Adam and Nepo check in their hotel. And we'll see you back later. Alright, so we are here in area 15. I guess we can't bring the camera on, so we'll see you guys tomorrow. Alright, Nips, what's up, man? Alright, man. Alright, see you later. <laughs>